Hi everyone, this is Teacher April. I'm going to try something a little new today. Sorry you can't see my face, but I'm out of physical books to read, so I'm trying to get more so that I can read you actual storybooks and so you can see me. But for today, we're going to read an iPad book. I'm going to read it to you this way so you can see all the pages. Um, let's get started. Today's book is called Wesley's Song. What do you think this book is going to be about? Yeah, it sounds like somebody named Wesley it has a song. And what do you see on the front cover? Yeah, I also see a whale. Do you see his red bow tie and his lovely brown hat? I'm very excited to read this book. I've never read it before, so let's get started. This is Wesley. He is a bubbly and friendly whale. He wants to try new things, but sometimes he is afraid to embarrass himself. Wesley loves to play with his friends at the sunken pirate ship. Wow, look at his friends. What friends do you see? Yes, I also see a green octopus, a pink fish, and a purple fish. One day, Wesley was playing with his friend, Demi the dolphin, when she suddenly jumped and flipped through the air. Wesley was amazed. Could Wesley jump and flip like Demi? Wesley flipped and flopped. Oh no! Poor Wesley. He felt sad because he couldn't jump and flip like Demi. Oh no! So why did Wesley feel sad? Yeah, you're right. He wasn't able to jump and now he's sad. Let's find out what happens next. Wesley spotted his friend Omar the octopus. Wow, what is Omar doing? That's right, Omar could juggle so many shells. Could Wesley juggle like Omar? Oops, the shells fell on Wesley's head. Ouch, Wesley felt disappointed. Just then, Wesley's friend, Safi the swordfish, asked Wesley to race. Quickly, what is Safi the sword swordfish wearing? What's that around their neck? I agree, I think it's a red scarf that looks very cozy. Could Wesley race like Safi? What do you guys think? Do you think Wesley will be able to race like Safi? Wesley tried, but Safi won. Safi asked him to race again, but Wesley felt like he wanted to be alone instead. Oops. Wesley swam off to a quiet place. He felt upset that he didn't have a special talent like his friends. Wow, I like that he swam to a quiet place when he was feeling sad. He found a good place to calm down. He swam around and began to hum a sad song. Slowly, Wesley's sad hum turned into a cheerful song. It said, I am Wesley, a whale who lives in the deep blue sea. My days are full of fun adventures with friends who I truly treasure. We swim and play in ships and caves and glide beneath the rolling waves. But some days I feel sad and lonely, not the cheerful Wesley of the sea. It's then that I sing a lovely song finally feel like I belong. You see, no one is quite like me, a bright blue whale whose voice is fancy. I bet that you can find something too that no one can do quite like you. Wesley realized that he did not have to jump high, juggle, or swim fast. 
He was special all on his own. Wesley proudly shared his talent with all of his friends, who were happy that Wesley was happy too. All right, the end. What a beautiful book. That was lovely. So Wesley, in the end, was able to find something that he was able to do. Now I want to ask you, what can you do? What are some things that you are able to do? All right, it was great reading with you guys. Until next time, bye-bye.